Hey guys, so it's a brand new video and I'm doing Mac. I love Mac. I've been wanting to do this video for ages. So yeah, stay tuned and keep watching. Okay, so the first product I'm using is Mac's Prep and Prime. It's the skin based visage one. I've never used their Prep and Prime line. Like, what is this? Is it a moisturizer? I have no idea, but I'm putting it on. Oh, this feels so smooth. Mac's one of the few brands that they have a lot of prepping for your face before you go into even your foundation. Next, I'm going to take Mac Strobe Cream. It smells amazing. Now we've finally done the skin, let's move on to the face. So I'm taking Max Pro Long Wear Concealer. It's in NC35. This is so pigmented, you can actually use this as a foundation. You get into the more natural side. We're moving on to foundation. This is my Studio Fix. Oh, it has a sponge, didn't realise that. Do people like, how can you use a sponge with this? Like, I don't get companies. Okay guys, I've just realised I messed up. I bought the Studio Fix thinking it was just like a cream type foundation and it's actually powder. Let's try this one. This foundation gives you dew look, but I am matting it down. What I'm going to do, because now apparently I have two powders, a bit annoying. One side of the face I'm going to use Studio Fix, and on the other side I'm using their Prep and Prime Transparent Finishing Powder. That is just some white, ghostly powder. I feel like I'm definitely looking a bit light on this side. Okay, now the base is done, let's just move on to the rest of the face. I have a story for you. I bought a bronzer to do this video. Literally haven't left the house. It came to my house, I opened the package, I've lost it. I've checked upstairs in my room, I've checked downstairs where I opened it, it's literally just, it's vanished. Zilch, it's gone. So I had to buy another one, so this is becoming very expensive. But the new one that I bought is limited edition. The ones that I have is from the Brook candy range and it's just in the colour golden I love me some Brooke candy I think she's a great underrated artist it's more on the glittery side so you definitely can't contour with it oh I wish I had my original one that I bought it was the light not, not light scapade what's that what's it called Shasta yeah it was that duo Shasta and light scapade I think it was it was like a a matte highlight and contour in one, the little compact. Oh, that's the disappointing, especially as I like Brooke Handy. And the products are not even like, that's barely showing up. I shouldn't have to do this that many times. Look at, look at Technique's video. One swipe and it was on. It's at 25 minutes and I still haven't even got onto the eyes. Let's just move on to my favourite of all time highlighters and you can tell because I've hit pan on it It is in the shade Soft and Gentle I want to get another one but it just breaks my heart to spend £26 in a highlighter I like it because even though it looks rose gold it goes quite whitey for me If whitey is a word That is just so nice it's quite on the natural side even though I like blinding highlights this I don't mind it's still quite blinding but it's more natural blinding it gives you more that gleam than that powdery glittery look this is the Velvet Stone Veluxe Brow Liner I hope it has a spoolie it should do because this ain't cheap Okay, yeah. Yes, it's got a spoolie. 
so annoying when brands just don't have to spoolie. That colour match is so perfect, oh my god. The only thing is, the only con is this brush is a bit hard. The bristles are really hard when you're brushing your hair out. That is so nice, That's it's giving more of her hair like strokes, whereas a lot of other brow products, they give you that waxy, slick down <laughs> look. Oh god. I'm going to use this in my everyday life, but I hope I don't love it, because it's a lot of money. Let's move on to the eyes. So this is a, one of their nine palettes. What's it called? Yeah, times nine. Basically, I am using that palette because I've never tried it before because I actually own a pro palette that I spent <laughs> my own money making. I have 15 shades. I know them off by heart. The amount of research I did when I bought these was amazing. Let's take the first one. It is a baby pink. I'll take it as a base. You can tell, look how they're quite small compared to their normal eyeshadows. I should probably get a mirror and do this, but it's just the base, so who cares? So let's go through them. This pink one is shimmery, then the next lighty, lilac -y type purples are matte. Then these more mid-tone, and then this one's quite dark, is Shimmer. This looks like Indian ink actually. This dark purple is matte. And then you got these two that are quite shimmery. This one's very shimmery, it's the most shimmery out of the all. This one's more glittery, that was not just shimmery. These two, and then this one here is matte. I love how I put a shimmery colour as my base. Yellow. So I'm going to do this for like all over then I think I might just put this in the dab this bit in the middle because it has shimmery and then go for maybe this dark shade for that a smoky eye look that pink is actually really nice oh my god that pigment oh my god just I did like two dabs and it's like full pow all over the lid oh my god I think I'm in purple heaven. You can actually see that in the camera. Oh wow, I'm in love. Oh my god guys, the purple is on and I'm in love. I can't believe it took me so long to use this palette. Okay, now the eyes are done, finally. I am just so happy overall. When it comes to purples, I think that's one of Mac's strongest colours because the pigment, the blendability is amazing compared to some of the other colours. So now let's move on to the eyeliner. It is Retro Black in their famous Fluid Line pen. Oh wow, that's like the... Um, Kat Von D, it's very long and pointy. And for some reason, I can never show you my eyeliner on screen because I'll do it, but then I end up looking so far down that my face is not even on screen and you can't see. Now that's a sharp eyeliner point. I am low-key mad that this is so great and better than one, one, most, nearly all of the eyeliners that I've tried in these videos because it's a very pretty penny to pay. I just put the eyeliner on and I am so, so impressed. I didn't have any problems, it didn't go really fat. It was so easy to control. Pigmented, it's black. You ain't got um, gaps. It's not patchy in the wing. 
you can't see your skin like near the waterline it's covered I'm overall impressed I can see why a fluid line is very hyped up I think their fluid line gel is more popular than the pen but yeah overall I am impressed so let's move on to mascara I've got the full slashes extreme black mascara Mm. <laughs> oh wow I forgot I used this in ages how it made my lashes at the end I'm gonna like zoom in on my face just to show you but it gives you such lengthening do this in normal one brand videos but I'm gonna hide my eyelashes for one reason I actually own two pairs of max fake false lashes I own number four and number six so I'm gonna choose one and put them on if you see the difference this is number four this is number six I definitely prefer number six. Oh my god it's not going where I want it to go It's just so natural looking. Oh my god, I actually have a raw lashes for months and weeks. And I'm liking it. Okay, I'm just gonna put the other side on now. Okay, so now the other eyelashes on. Just look how natural it looks. So let's oh my god, this video is gonna be like an hour long. I hate you mad. Last but not least is lips. I'm going to use the Retro Matte Liquid Lip. This was one of the how convenient, this was actually one of my first ever liquid lip lipsticks to use and it's also one of the most expensive this is in the shade Reconnection it's one of my favourites, it's one of my first ones I own in total four shades the other ones is Dance With Me Feel So Grand and High Drama like it's got that flame type applicator it's not flat and long like Maybelline's so let's apply this. I'm looking very glamorous today. Oh yeah, and I forgot. This smells so vanilla-y. I love Max scents. Oh my god, that is the end of this video. I'm mad that I lost my Shade Star bronzer. The only thing that didn't go well with this video is the bronzer. Everything else was perfect. I knew MAC was great. I love MAC. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. So this is the eye look. The brows. The highlight contour. The lips.